So today we are going to talk about enums. Basically, this is uh, one of uh, the other ways that Java creates another. You can uh, create data types in Java. Uh, so let's get started. Okay. So the purpose of an enum was actually in, uh, introduced early on in Java when you had to do or rather use uh, the switch statement right so earlier in java for example what when you wanted to use a switch statement and we've covered a switch statement before a switch statement takes some expression here right so let's say three right and you have these different cases so you say case one then s out one right or you can say, for example, I'll just copy this case to control V case two, case three, two, right? And then, of course, there's the default case. Okay, so you've seen all this before. So let me just run this code and see what you get, right? So it prints out three because the switch statement uh, takes this expression in, in parentheses and then compares the result of this expression. In this case, the result of the expression three is three itself. It compares it to, the val to all the case statements and uh, it finds a case statement where it matches. And if it does, it executes the body of the case statement if it doesn't find any values here, so let's say this was four, for example, it would print out the default uh, statement, right? So in this case, uh, when Java was initially created, the types of expressions you could give here are what were known as integral expressions, which means that the values could only be integer values that you could use as expressions right so for example if you had a variable here which was an int a equals 3 right i could say a and this would work out right so you should it should also print out 3 right another way of getting integral value so this actually turned out to be pretty limiting okay and the reason for that was th it's not so expressive so even if i gave this value a name right so let's say i would say this value is uh, red color, right? Red color, right? So what happened was that a lot of times you would hit cases where you need to give some sort of number a name, okay? And this is the way you would you would have to do it without enums. So what Java did was actually Java created this concept known as enum. So I'm just going to create an enum here and I'm going to call it color, right? And I'm going to say red, green, blue. Okay, sorry, it's so commas. Uh, so now this enum is actually an integral. You can think of it as an integral data type. Why? Because each of these values in these enums, right, have an integer backing them. But what is the integer? You don't really need to know what the number is. And I'll show you why, right? So suppose I want to say now that I have a, I want to switch and do something based on the color of the value of the variable, right? So first, how do you create an enum? So the way you create an enum is similar to any other data type. You say color, let's say C1 equals color dot green, right? So this means C1, okay? So the way you read it is C1 is a variable of type enum and its value is color dot green, okay? So now I can actually change this and say C1, okay? And here, instead of giving numbers, I can actually just put green, so red, green, blue, right? So now, this switch statement, which was fill, 
uh, sort of full of like just you know random numbers and in terms of context it's not very clear what those numbers mean i mean of course if you have written code earlier you would know but to someone else reading your code it may not be so clear here it's actually very clear what you mean when when you're switching on c1 right java will try to figure out what c1 is in this case c1 is a variable of type color and its value is color dot green so you would expect instead of having numbers now i could actually just have the actual colors here right so you would expect the output to be green right so let's try this out and there you see it okay so enums are a good way of sort of making your code base look a little bit like english rather than having uh, what is known as magic numbers which is basically numbers hidden behind a variable right here actually the real thing is color dot greens value is actually a number the number is zero right so if you don't give any number to these guys what will happen is sorry green is not zero green is one this will be given the value zero this will be given the value one this will be given the value two right so this is actually the values that you get but let me try to change this and put this as one right and run this code okay now this is another way that sort of java is sort of helping you create safer code right it says here an enum switch case label must be the unqualified name of an enumeration constant right so this is an enum constant right and we have used the value one here but actually we need to use green right so some other things that you can do with enum are c1 dot okay i could say uh two string so let's try to print this out actually let's do this c1 right let's try to print this out <clears throat> right so it gives you the string value of the enum constant okay so if i say c1 plus one right now what you get is you get some sort of error here because the operator plus cannot be applied to the color right so let me try to cast this to an int and see what happens right so in this case even though c1 is actually backed by a number right i can't cast it to a number easily so even though it's an integral data type you can think of it as an integral data type but it has a constant name okay so throughout your program color dot green will mean one particular thing okay so this basically covers uh, very quickly uh, what enums are and like this you can actually create any number of enums and use them mainly in your switch statements okay to branch code so i thought i'd just do a quick video on enums it's not a complicated concept there are a few other things related to enums when you get to a little bit more advanced stuff so for example enums are like you can have methods and constructors and things like that but we won't go into that today uh, if you want you can read more about it online uh, if you have any queries regarding enums uh, maybe you can hit me up on on this uh, you know video chat or uh, comment section um, another thing is you don't have to create enums or the last thing is you don't have to create enums inline like this you can actually create an enum by creating a new java class and then creating an enum so i could say for example sport or shape let's try shape okay and i could say create an enum and then you can create a new file and then within a shape you can say circle square etc right now why have i uh, created enum constants with uh, all caps actually this is a convention that's used in in most programming languages to create this as all caps so i've just used this here okay so this basically says i've created an enum called shape so i could say shape s1 equals and notice in this one to create a value you don't actually need to say new 
right you basically just say shape dot circle and that creates this value in memory right so i could print this out very quickly so i could say shape is and you could see shape is circle okay so this covers enums and uh, in the next video we'll sort of move on to other topics okay thank you for tuning in and see you in the next one cheers